I think the main point when you look at it across a spectrum of sectors is that consumer expenditure just doesn't disappear. Uh, it slows. Uh, there are ebbs and flows within that consumer expenditure, and I think we've all seen it. But it doesn't go away. And so these places to shop, these locations where you consume, need to continue to exist. And if they need to continue to exist at different rents or at lower footfalls, that, that may well be the case. With shopping centres, the, the beauty of that retail class is that you invariably on the larger scale own a city. You really do control the flow of traffic. You own a city centre, if you will, where you can position anchors. And it really provides owners with a fantastic opportunity to truly, and I, and I use that, I underline that word, truly asset manage. Because with the multi-let nature of shopping centres, it gives you a diversity of risk whilst giving you a fantastic opportunity to add value. Um, and finally, the, the thing that, that I quite like is, is the transparency of information. Uh, the fact that you can get so much information on retail stock, um, for example, footfall figures and how they've moved over the years, how retailers have traded with the visibility of turnover information. It really does allow you to get into the key fundamentals of any property, which some asset classes don't allow you that access. Um, so I, I think certainly that they would be some of my key points as to why I believe retail is still a, a very popular asset class. Well, our, most of our investors are looking for security of uh, income, and uh, this is what we definitely get out of the retail sector due to the transparency and due to the covenant strengths of the main players. and. Uh, we just uh, um, published a, a report on the German sector of, of retail warehousing together with MEC, the joint venture of Metro and, and ECE, and uh, um, it just confirmed what, uh, uh, what great covenant strengths we get into this, in this sector because um, uh, even better than fashion retailers, food uh, retailers who are the um, key anchor tenants in every retail warehouse have the best covenant strengths um, uh, and better than, than most uh, uh, of the players in the financial industry. And this is uh, what our investors are looking for, security of long-term income. And you get long leases and uh, uh, inflexible space and uh, you can also adapt to, to, to new um, retail trends. And uh, um, big um, retail warehouses um, uh, um, or big tenants um, are, um, are decreasing their, their floor space and new tenants are coming, coming to that space on a smaller, um, on a smaller um, average uh, rental space and this is driving value because those tenants can pay more for that smaller space. So um, it's an attractive, very attractive sector for our clients.